175 pounds, the big athletic presence out of the University of Connecticut inside its center. And it's LeBron James, and it's Davis at the four slot. And looking at the Charlotte Hornets, and out of Indiana, the younger of the Zeller brothers, fluid 6'11 big man Cody Zeller, working inside, and it's Hayward, and it's Washington in at the power four. I like that, getting their offense started with a high-quality look down low. Yeah, Clark, I think the more points they can get inside today, the better off they'll be. Here's Schroeder. Here's Caldwell Pope. Offensive rebound. And that one's good. Drummond. You know, Kevin, he never gives up on a play. That's what I love about him. He just is one of those guys who will bring effort and energy the entire 48 minutes. And, Steve, one thing that might not get as much attention, but... You know, his screens are some of the toughest and best in the league. You can go under or trail, but you're not getting through his screens. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Well, let's start with the positive and the Lakers postseason. They did make it. That's all that can be said is their dramatic passing of Utah and the Rockets down the stretch to take the seventh seed was really the lone highlight of what would be a quick exit from the playoffs for him. Now here's LeBron, the pass to Schroeder. He kicks to Drummond. The dish to Davis. Going back to the Lakers, swept in four straight by the Spurs, and none of the games really that close. And Spurs, Steve, just dominated them in every sense of the word. Injuries didn't help either. No, they didn't help, but you know the Spurs just outplayed whoever was on the floor for L.A. And I think a lot of people thought that the Spurs would be a, a good first-round matchup for the Lakers, but that notion was quickly squashed. San Antonio just totally dominated. And the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. Free throw good, LeBron. Both free throws good for LeBron. 132 left in the first. Now Hayward. Pass to Washington. He feeds it to Jordan. Puts it up from 12. And it's good off the glass. Jordan's got his second bucket of the game to go. You know, that's one way he can finish, but not the only way. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Moments ago, our Doris Burke had a chance to catch up with the coach, Frank Vogel. Doris? Kevin, when addressing his game plan for today, he said there's just too much speed on the other side to make this a transition battle. He's confident they have an advantage in a half-court game, so that's the type of contest he'd like to take it to. We'll see how it works out for his club. Thanks, Doris. And here is Graham after LeBron James hitting the free. It's Drummond with the rebound. Oh, easy look there, but, you know, he misses those once in a while. He passes to Caldwell Pope to the inside. Out of bounds. Charlotte takes possession. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. Hornets trail by three. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Ball, the pass to Bridges. Jacks up a three. No good from Ball. Back to LeBron. Outside Gasol. From deep three-point range. So at the end of one from the beginning. And Steve, that's a big part of why they're on top right now. Russo, the pass to Gasol. Pass to LaRusso. Here's Piankowski. Trains the three-pointer. They've really flipped things around offensively. Well, anytime you can make more than half your shots, Clark, you take that any day of the week. So it's the Hornets now. Six-point game. Pass the ball for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Biombo, no luck. That was a layup. I and mean, you've got to knock that down. You've got to convert when you get those opportunities. They set the pick. 
outside for Gasol. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And a much better quarter for them in terms of shooting the basketball. You know, anytime your field goal percentage as a team is up in the high 50s, um, you're doing a lot of stuff right. And so it's Charlotte with it. They trail by nine points. Six to shoot. Martin from outside, and it's good. Martin's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Los Angeles has gone 3-5 from beyond the arc so far tonight. And the Lakers making a change here. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Here's Piatkowski. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He has five. Boy, it's no wonder they've got the lead. Their shooting has really picked up here in the second quarter. You know, you don't expect the team, Steve, to shoot in the 60% range the entire game. But if they can hover around that mark, then they'll run away with this one. So it's the Hornets now, following the bucket by the Lakers. Just five on the clock. Here's Ball. And it falls over the rim and in. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. Here's Schroeder. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Lakers passing it around. Here's Tucker. Here's Piankowski. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. The Lakers making a switch here. over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Washington. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Charlotte shooting their first free throws of the game. Washington. First free throw is good. Los Angeles making a switch here. Free throws good from Washington. Lakers leading by four. Schroeder kicks to Davis. He dishes it to Morris. Offline with his three. Here's Graham. This team is an edge. I mean, he gets into the arena, he just lights it up. And I thought that first half, he really had a roller. You know, he doesn't just give them an edge. He gives them a confidence and a swagger they wouldn't otherwise have. I mean, he's a special player to have around. Hornets trail by four. And here's Hayward looking for his first basket still in this one. Dishes it to Zeller and stolen by LeBron. Three on three. The feed to Drummond. Back to LeBron, defended by Hayward, and there's the call on James. That is his first foul of the game. What a great play to sacrifice his body and take the hit. Yeah, I thought that was excellent awareness and anticipation to beat him to the spot there. Here's Graham. Kicks it to Zeller. Feeds to Hayward. The pass to Washington. They get it back. Zeller. 
and they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. That rebound and the follow kind of typify what he's all about. Just gritty, determined play. Well, this guy has a huge bag of tricks that he can dip into on the low block. He's really mastered a, an array of complicated moves. And that makes him a splendid, supreme scoring threat in the post. I mean, he baits the hook, and the defenders almost always are biting. It's a beautiful thing to watch. Now, here's LeBron. Five points in the game. And Davis, here we go. A steal. 137 left to play in the third. For the tie. And the layup is up and in. It's all night up. The road back hasn't been an easy one, but they've managed to climb all the way out of the hole and tie this game. I have to say, pretty remarkable, Steve. At one point, I thought they were done. Timeout called the Lakers. Play with just over a minute and a half gone by. An emphatic LU jam. You can see the eye contact there. Gave a little nod and then burst to the rim for the alley oop slam. No doubt, Clark. A pair of teammates with a terrific feel for each other out on the floor. Mm -hmm. And what a play to make in a close game. A, a potential momentum builder. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. left in the third. Zeller dishes to Jordan. He kicks it to Graham. Six on the shot clock. Nailed from three-point land. Graham's got five points now this quarter. And that's why teams emphasize the use of screens and picks, just to get you some open looks like that one. Now here's LeBron. Five points in the game. Passes it to Schroeder. Back to LeBron. LeBron right side. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. The Lakers have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And you look at the numbers, guys, uh, this team shot uh, a 73% clip over the course of last season. And, you know, whenever they get into a stretch where it looked like maybe they would turn it around at the line, they would immediately take a step back. Falls, so he hits both of them. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Graham with the ball. Five points in the game. Outside Jordan. He passes to Washington. Just five to shoot. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Jordan's shot is off. Now here's Drummond. The dish to LeBron. LeBron, left side. And no breakdown for Los Angeles. These long-range shots look like layups out there, guys. You know, something else I've noticed is just how many of their baskets have been set up by assists throughout the game. He feeds it to Hayward. Pass to Graham. Let's it go from the wing, and that one swishes right in. Graham's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Hornets. Schroeder passes to Davis. 
Here's the pass to Schroeder. LeBron from deep. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got his third rebound tonight. Graham with the ball. Now defended by Schroeder. Washington passes to Jordan. He dishes it to Graham. Is again. Shot by Zeller. No good. Boy, he really fumbled that finish. And a foul. Put him on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Hornets. From mid-range, it's been a very nice game for them. I mean, they've been finding the bottom of the net a lot. And the other thing they're doing, Clark, is scoring a lot of points off turnovers, forcing mistakes, and cashing in. That's the first, and that ties the game up. And so making both free throws. That'll give them the lead. Much free throws there, fellas. This one's a barn burner. Tight as me in an airport laboratory. Charlotte calls timeout. They're losing by one. 149 left in the fourth quarter. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what head coach of the Hornets said to his team. He told his players, guys, we're letting opportunities slip away in transition. Let's push it up the floor, look to score some points in early offense. Kevin, can they pick up the tempo? Get over, get over. 149 left in the fourth quarter. Graham kicks to Jordan. Dishes it to Graham. And the rejection by Caldwell Polk. Moves back up. And Jordan gets it to go. And the Hornets lead by one. There is just no way Clark could tell who is. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. LeBron with it. Now guarded by Graham. Backing down is LeBron. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. Ooh, he's playing hard, but you got to play smart, too. Get there too late, and that's a big whistle. And that call gets an instant reaction from the fans. Well, that's a whistle that did not go over very well. 116 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Washington passes to Jordan. The feed to Zeller. Here's Washington. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, because you know if you continue to give up open looks like that, you're in big trouble. LeBron kicks to Schroeder. Like at six. The kick out to LeBron. LeBron with another miss. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. Jordan, the pass to Washington. The three won't fall. L.A. has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Oh, what a clutch shot. That could be the difference, maker. Big, big moment in this game. What is on the line here? Well, how about the intensity and focus of the crowd here? So loud in this place. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game. Nails it! And what a sensational bucket to bring down with him one. Well, Jordan has been fantastic. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Smart foul there. You've got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. And both at the line. 15 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. Missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And no good on the second free throw. So he goes over for two there. And here is Graham. 
Passes it to Washington. Fires the three. Can't knock in the three.